hey, 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 is Newboat. Hello. Let's talk about cohesion and, and adhesion. Hey, Mr. Newbold, I remember that. We talked about that in class when we talked about the properties P, properties of water. This actually, okay, cohesion and adhesion are two of the properties of water that we talked about. And uh, they are related to each other in that they both well, actually, like all the properties of water, they're involved, or the result of, hydrogen bonding. And hydrogen bonding is the result of polarity. So here's a little picture, right? So cohesion is, remember that cohesion is water sticking to water, and adhesion is wa water sticking to the other things right like grass that's what dew is beautiful morning dew that's freezing right now because it's cold outside uh, okay good so we have to think about what does this mean and where do we see examples of cohesion and where do we see examples of add here let's first talk about well actually we can use this example for both adhesion and cohesion let's first talk about cohesion do you all remember what this is surface tension surface tension is that layer of where that, that okay that layer of water where the water meets the atmosphere there is this thin film sort of that can withstand external pressure you can eventually you know surface tension can break obviously I mean when you jump into a pool you break surface tension okay ah spider how is the spider not sinking well look at its little legs look look at that right there wow look at that right there Look at that right there. Look at that right there. You know that, you know when you eat pudding and you have that, uh, and the pudding gets old and there's that film on top of the pudding? Well, that's very similar to what surface tension is. It's like what surface tension is. This spider is able to walk on water because of surface tension. And surface tension is the result of cohesion. Surface tension is the result of cohesion. Remember when you all did this? Right? Floated a paper clip on top of water. Do you remember? Right? You remember that? That's surface tension. Surface tension exists because of water sticking to itself. Now here we have a water droplet and a water droplet, but really this should be, you know, an actual water molecule and another water molecule. And there, what their these hands here, this would actually be, this actually is a, a hydrogen bond. Okay? Hey, hey, and guess what? So is this. Okay? The attractive force between water and something else, and the attractive force between water and another water molecule are hydrogen bonds. And hydrogen bonds exist because water is a polar molecule. Wow, that's really amazing. This is all so interesting and cool. Yep. Yep, you're right. Now, okay, so let's look at surface tension. Now let's look at some examples of adhesion. I'm gonna scroll down. Scroll down a little bit here. Okay, let's look at some examples of adhesion. Right? Keep on doing that. Well, that picture copied much larger than anticipated. What do you think that is? Look at it carefully. 
it's a spider web and that spider web has water on it now look at this the water is sticking to the spider web because of adhesion but the water forms drops because of cohesion so the water sticking to the spider web is adhesion and the water making a water droplet okay the water sticking to itself is from cohesion okay yes yes it is very very interesting and very very important look at all of these examples the water sticking to the spider web is adhesion the water sticking to itself making a drop is cohesion now where do we see this where again in nature this is all over the place but an important example that you need to be aware of is the use of cohesion and adhesion well I don't know if you would call it use but a actual result of cohesion and adhesion would be this Oh, I did that. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Capillary action. Okay. Uh, that happened because I had the caps lock on, and then I hit shift. Anyway, who cares? Capillary action is water moving up a thin tube, and this happens because, ultimately, because of polarity. But capillary action happens because of adhesion and cohesion. So if we zoom in, so here we have this drawing. This is the, you know, probably some, well, it's not probably. This is some mathematics of capillary action. You don't have to know any of this. You know, that's height. That's the angle. But if you look here, if we were to zoom in this area here, here's a little container with water in it. And here's a thin tube. Say it's a glass tube. Well, look what happens. The water is attracted to the edge of the glass. It's called a meniscus. This is the result of the water sticking to the glass. So is that adhesion or cohesion? The water sticking to the glass. Is that adhesion or cohesion? Water sticking to glass. It's adhesion. And the water sticking to itself, and this is their surface tension right here, is cohesion. So the water sticking to itself and being moved is cohesion. The water sticking to itself and staying together is cohesion. But the water then moving up the tube is because of adhesion. Okay? Alright, now so what? Who cares? Well, the what's cool about this is that what ends up happening is that you can have water move up the stem of a plant. This is how plants move water from the soil to their leaves. Here we have some celery and within the stems of celeries and oak trees and roses, the stems of all plants, there are tubes. And these tubes transfer water through the use of adhesion and cohesion, what we call capillary action. The water is moving from the container up the stem and up into the leaves. You can see here evidence of this and that the leaves have been changed, they've been dyed. The color has changed in the leaves because of the color of the liquid that they have been uh, transporting. Now, plants don't have hearts. Plants don't have lungs. So plants aren't pumping water. Plants aren't, you know, like sucking up water. Water moves up plants because of capillary action, because of cohesion and adhesion. Here's another one. Here's your original basin. And the water from the this container goes up into this tube and then the water is brought up into these thinner tubes because of capillary action decreasing diameter decreasing size from here to here okay so let's review real quick adhesion and cohesion cohesion is water being attracted to itself adhesion is water being attracted to other another charged substance uh, cohesion results in surface tension, which allows things to 
float on top of water. Adhesion is water sticking to other things. So in this example, we have water sticking to spider web. Uh, this is also an example of cohesion because water sticking to itself makes a droplet. And adhesion and cohesion results in capillary action. Capillary action or capillarity is water moving up a small tube, a thin tube. And this is, allow, this is what allows water to move up the stems of plants. Okay, that was a nice long video. 10 minutes and 31 minutes, 31 seconds. Sorry about that. If it's too long, email me and I'll re-record it and I'll make it shorter. Okie dokie. Thank you. Bye.